What's going on people? Welcome back to Just Killing Bugs. So as I continue the mods to my 2022 Rogue Glide ST, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add rear passenger footboard supports on here so I can add my thrashing boards when I do the other updates to those. They're gonna go right here. These do not come stock with them uh, when you get delivery of the bike. So I'll zoom in a little closer here in a second and show you kind of what's going on. But you get your instructions, you get your hardware, you get two brackets, one that goes on each side. You're gonna need a uh, half inch, three, three inch drive wrench or ratchet, quarter inch drive wrench, some extensions. I have a quarter inch hex key and oddly enough fit the best the eight millimeter hex key for the bigger bolts, which I thought was kind of interesting. Some gloves. I like to keep things laid out and I put some towels over here just so that in case I drop something, I didn't scratch anything up. And then we'll get started on this, get it put in and I'll kind of show you what to do and we'll go from there. So we'll see you back in a second. All right, here's a little closer look at the parts and whatnot. Have your instruction sheet right here, which is pretty basic, just kind of covers over the basic things there. You got two sets, one for each side of each thing, some pins that are gonna go in this section, which won't be happening during this part. I'll save those for the installation right now. I'm just focusing on mounting those. And then you've got the brackets. They come wrapped in this padded thing individually. I just put them on here to keep them separate. And again, three inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive ratchet, and some extensions, and of course some gloves. Got those going on. And we'll begin zooming in up here a little higher and then we'll start working on taking that stuff out and show you where it goes. Cool. Okay, as we get ready to put this on, reading the instructions, it states that on 2010 later models, you go in the bottom bolt here and the top bolt there and you don't use these two. In the kit, you get the 3 8 bolt and the 5 16 bolt. So that's for adjustment for up or down. So we will be using the 3 8 bolt and the chrome bolt and set aside the 5 16 bolts. So to get it started, I'm going to utilize the chrome bolt first to hold it in the upright position, make it easier to manage. Got my Loctite on it. So I'm going to slide that inside of here and get this one started in this top hole. Finger tight. Just like that, allows me movement. And I'm gonna switch over to the one quarter bit and the three eighths bolt. Grab that, line up my hole. This one passes through a little bit deeper uh, inside so once you get that started just get it finger tight it'll start settling in like so grab your extension or your quarter inch drive that on there start working that in about like so is good. I'm just going to snug it. And then I'm going to grab my extension for the 8 millimeter. We're going to pop this guy in. Make sure everything's lined up the way I want it. And now, since I got the lock tight, there's already lock tight in there, I'm going to go ahead and start torquing it. Um, instructions. Do state, saw it on here somewhere, tighten the bolts to 48 to 72 inch pounds. So I'm going to use my calibrated wrist just to see how it goes because we've got the Loctite on there and give that a good little snug. And then the same thing with the bottom now. Get that popped in and give that calibrated. And with the Loctite, we should be good. And the bracket is now mounted. Then we just do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to hang on to these pieces because these will go in here to mount the boards when I get ready to do those. 
and then I'll go in like that, mount the boards to get that, that all part going ready to go. So I'll save those for right there. And now we'll go over and start the other side. All right, now we're over on the other side. This side was a little tricky getting these little covers out here because I only need the top one and bottom one because it's a newer model. What I had to do is I just took this same tool, put it back here and then took a pair of needle nose pliers and carefully pushed forward and popped that out till I could grab it. Um, the other thing you can do if you need, for those that need these on the lower bolts, you can probably come back through with like a long thin screwdriver or something like that from the other side of the bike and push those out so you don't have to take all this stuff off uh, and try to manipulate around the frame or anything like that. So we're pretty much going to follow the same thing we did on the other side. So I'm going to start out with the chrome top bolt with my Loctite on it. Same thing here, flip it over the right way, pop this through, get it started. I just use my hand against any paint or anything to stop the movement and shifting so I don't scratch anything up. A little tricky that way. Okay, we'll back that out, let it rest. And we'll go over here and get the other one. This is the quarter inch 3 8 bolt. Take a look and line that up. It slides in a little bit. Start popping that in. Make sure everything's groovy the way you want it. Snug that one. Come back up and finish this guy off. Now that I got that one in, make sure everything's where I want it and just finish clamping it all the way in. Again, elbow calibration. Loctite will help keep that in place. Check it, of course, as vibration goes because that's what we do with our Harleys. And same thing here, elbow calibration. But by all means, if you're not sure how it feels, be sure you get a torque wrench and uh, make sure it's mounted properly and done like it's supposed to be. All right, so now both of these are on. And then the next step will be to get the Thrasher boards on and mount those, which I'll probably do next. All right, see you in a bit. Thanks a lot.